one of the training educators here at Jet Hairdressing Academy. Come and join me and let's have a little play around with some ponytails. First you're going to smooth the hair out and create a low ponytail, making sure that you take the time to perfect this and get it really nice and neat. To secure I'm using the Kirby Grip and Hairband method. Slot one Kirby Grip in, wrap around the hair and then use your other Kirby Grip to secure. To add more weight to my ponytail, I'm going to be using weft hair, I'm wrapping it round and then securing with a Kirby Grip. As always, we need to make sure we hide any hair bands or wefts. Take a centimetre section of hair and wrap round and secure to hide. Okay, so our prep is done and now we're going to summary. Take a centimetre section of hair from either the left or the right, it doesn't matter, whatever side you want your samurai to be on. This section should be under your ponytail. You're then going to wrap it round through to create a knot. Pull up just to tighten. And that's your first samurai section done. You're now going to take another centimetre section from the same side. You're going to connect those two strands of hair together and recreate the process that you just did. If you're working with flyaway hair, always use a little bit of gel on those ends just to make it nice and smooth or a little bit of spray. Continue all the way down to the ends. Secure with a small elastic band. Make sure you hide it by wrapping a little bit of hair around that band and spray. I'm choosing to back brush those ends just to give a little bit more volume and movement. Don't be scared to tease that braid to get the shape that you want and voila! That's look one done. So we're going back to our basic ponytail formation from video one. So make sure that you've got enough hair to work with and make sure it's nice and smooth throughout. I'm using individual metal rings to connect my style. You might have something slightly different to this, but the process will still be the same. Take an inch section of hair from the base of your ponytail and make sure it's nice and smooth. This is the section you're going to be working with today. Adding the first ring super easy. You're literally just going to thread it through. Pick up your second ring. It needs to sit under the hair but over the first ring. Think of a Venn diagram in maths. That's what we're aiming for. This is the fiddly bit. You need to pull that hair through the middle of the two rings. 
To secure it, you then need to bring it back through that bottom ring. Okay, let's speed things up. Now you're going to repeat that process with as many rings or chain links as you'd like. This is a really adaptable look. You can literally take a part in from anywhere in the hair and chain link it through, including the top of the head. I want to play around with a little bit of texture, so I'm going to take that chain link and clip it out the way, and I'm going to do a simple three strand plait down to the bottom. Hold on to the base of your plait and pull those little sections out to create more texture. Secure those two sections together and hide your band. Let's try a smoother alternative. We need to hide that band. Wrap the hair around as you've been doing and elongate it down to create a stronger base. Drop your chain link and connect. You can either keep it super smooth and structured or you can pull out the sides like I'm doing just to create a rounder shape. Hide that band. Okay, let's get ready to go on to look three. For this, you're gonna to need to take a radial section from behind the ear to create two different sections. I've chosen to leave out an additional inch on the front of the hairline, just to add a little bit of differentiation. I'm gonna to come to that bit last. Section off that top pony and get it out of the way. Smooth and secure and get that string ready. The first thing we're going to do is loop your string through the base of the ponytail like so. I knot it three times for extra security and then I want to cut that little bit of excess thread off the top. Not with your hairdressing scissors, <laughs> make sure they're normal ones. Time to hide that hairband. Make sure your string's nice and tight, give it a little pull, and then you're gonna slot in a flat clip on either side of that ponytail. Okay, 
Okay, so next we're gonna start wrapping that string round the hair. I normally wrap it round three times. Drop your string, pick up a tiny little section from the left side and then pick up a tiny little section from the right and secure behind those flat clips. Pick your string back up and wrap round. Do the same again, pick up your little sections from each side and secure behind the flat clips. Got it? Okay, let's speed things up. Continue all the way down to wherever you want it to finish. When you're happy with it, cut that string and knot the end three times again. It can get a little bit fiddly doing your knot, as you can see from me doing it. So take your time, there's no rush. Okay, take those clips out and pull those sides out, stretch them out to get the most of that string on show. Take down your top section and back brush through for extra height. Give it a good smooth over and then secure to either side, depends on what look you're going for, but you don't want it to be directly above the other ponytail. I'm using the tail of my pin comb to give extra height and balance. Use your fingers to pull out tendrils to give extra texture. You're going to repeat the exact same process as what you did for ponytail one. Clip the string in, wrap round and get cracking. You don't have to use string for this. You could use raffia, you could use ribbon. There's so many different things you could utilise. Have a little play around and see what effect you like the best.
Make sure you balance that top out so there's nice movement throughout. For my front sections, I'm choosing to do a simple three strand braid all the way down on either side. I'm then using the tail of my comb to pull them out and give a little bit more texture. Back brush those ends to create an area floaty texture. With the front you can either leave it down, pin it back, I'm just showing you a really simple finger wave that you secure with Kirby grips. You'd need to gel onto the face to make it sit flat. Thank you so much for joining me today, I hope it was informative and you've learned something new. Don't forget to tag us in all your work at Jet Hairdressing Academy on Instagram and Facebook. See you soon!